So today we're going to talk about what I think is the best bargain, best value in raw denim going right now, and that is with Brave Star Selvage. So their goal was to become the first premium denim brand in the USA to source all of their materials from Cone Mills in North Carolina. Now, we all know that at this point, Cone Mills actually went out of business back in 2017 after over 100 years in the business of making high quality denim that was famously used by vintage Levi's. But even though they don't have the Cone Mills classic denim anymore, they still continue to produce very, very high quality blue jeans uh, made of some really high quality denim that they source mostly uh, from Japan. Now, unfortunately, I can't find any specifics about what mills in Japan that they use, but suffice to say, based on my experience of holding and having and owning these jeans, that the denim is very, very good quality. And I'll show you guys some wonderful close-ups of it to show you the quality of the denim itself. So I actually own two pairs of Brave Star jeans, and one pair actually is uh, uh, using some of that Cone Mills denim. Um, they still are able to get some. I think a lot of companies still pop out with some special releases here and there uh, using some of the denim that obviously the Cone Mills had made prior to closing and going out of business. And so it still leaks its way out onto the market here and there. But the other pair that I have is Japanese denim and it's a little bit heavier weight. But the construction I can say is very, very similar um, on both pairs so I'll just focus on this pair of the Japanese uh, the Japanese denim jeans that I have and these are in a 15 ounce so a little bit heavier than your normal Levi's so some of the cool things about these jeans that you can see very very good quality stitching these nice vegetable tanned leather patch on the back that ages and patinas over time as it gathers dirt and oil from your fingers from being touched and uh, it's actually very very nice and thick patch and it's sewn on uh, double stitched on the top and the bottom inside of the waistband so it's not going anywhere for a long time of course you have your selvage id here on the coin pocket it is a red line selvage so again still kind of in line with that classic uh, Levi's look. You get this nice stitched Brave Star patch right here on the inside of the waistband and they do proudly fly that made in the USA banner on their jeans. They've got these nice laurel reef buttons that they use on the fly um, and they've got nicely reinforced fly holes for those buttons. No selvage ID on the fly but that's not a huge deal. Another cool feature that you see on Brave Star jeans is the star on the right hip pocket. And as you can see, it's nicely embroidered. And then of course you see that red line selvage ID there at the cuff. And you see some pretty nicely done chain stitched hems. Unlined back pockets, but you can see the nice uh, contrast between the inside and the outside of the jeans there with the warp and the weft. You see nice big belt loops that are sewn to the hip stitch but then they are also sewn up underneath the waistband too so they are very very solidly constructed. Thick and sturdy denim. Overall it's made very very well. I've owned this pair for about 10 months now and because it is a little bit heavier weight and I am here in Texas I haven't worn these as much as my other pair, the Cone Mills ones that are a little bit lighter weight, but I can't really say a whole lot about the fading. Um, you know, again, I haven't worn these probably enough to, to really expect to see any fades, but I do know that the Cone Mills denim was somewhat known for fading in more of a vintage style, so it's gonna be more of an all over fade as opposed to some of the high contrast that you see from other brands. But I do expect that because this is a little bit heavier weight Japanese denim, like you could see in the video, it has some irregularities and stuff. I do expect that these will develop some nice fades over time. Um, I just haven't worn them enough to set it in yet. So when you start putting all of these factors together, the, the high quality denim, the excellent construction, um, why are these jeans so affordable? And when I talk about affordable, I'm talking about right around a hundred bucks. So that's really not that much more than you pay for a pair of Levi's these days. And that price point comes down to the fact that they don't sell at retail. 
all of their sales are done through their website. So I guess they're cutting out the middleman and helping to pass those savings on to you. But they also do have a section on their website called the Lone Wolves Basement. And I guess that's for maybe overstocked items or regular items. And sometimes you can find these jeans, even some of the heavier weight ones from around 60 to 80 dollars which is just a ridiculous deal and that's just outstanding value especially when you consider just how well made these jeans are and how great they look so all that is to say if you are in the market for a pair of raw denim selvage jeans you go to their website take a look at it see what they have in stock they've got an excellent size and fit guide so that'll help you make sure that you're getting the right size for you when you order it for them and I've seen some reviews and things out there that sometimes their customer service and hasn't been the best but they are a very small company and typically from my experience small companies tend to really put a high value on customer service so I can't really speak to it. I've never experienced it. I've never had to deal with them, but I'm sure that because that information is out there, that customer service is probably gonna be a very big focus for them. So I wouldn't be surprised that if you do have to deal with them, that you have a great experience. Right now they are taking pre-orders on some pretty awesome new items. So if you're watching this uh, right around March of uh, 2022, get on there they've got some uh, heavyweight Japanese high slub denim that they're uh, that they're taking pre-orders and they do that from time to time they offer other products too shirts jackets they even have a really awesome natural veg tan leather belt uh, that I am very very seriously considering purchasing just because I want to see uh, how well that patinas and uh, takes on character over time like the like the patch on the back of the jeans but anyways that's it for today uh, if you enjoyed this content, would like to see more videos like it, hit the like button. I uh, really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.